Hey YouTube, today I'm going to give you a quick info video tutorial on how to replace the rear clutch assembly, high point gear assembly, or better known as the rear differential fluid on a 2005 through 2008 Acura RL sedan. This procedure will be very likely similar to those of other Acura super handling all wheel drive systems. Um, you know, check with your owner's manual, factory service manual, or don't hesitate to write uh, a comment on my page to inquire for any service tips. I'm not going to state the obvious, but you need to raise the vehicle up on the rear driver's side of the vehicle. And the reason why it's the rear driver's side that's important is because the way the differential is oriented when you're filling it, you want it to be tipped this way so that it's easier to fill. Um, but I'm going to point out a few things on this rear differential and clutch assembly um, so that those that are servicing this don't get confused. There are actually four plugs on this specific differential. One up here that's stamped ATF or on some later revision vehicles it'll say DPSF fluid. Um, this is a 2006 RL so back in those days they were filling this rear diff assembly with Honda ATF Z1 fluid which is no longer available. So we're going to drain all of that out and replace it with Acura DPSF fluid specifically designed for all-wheel drive systems. Um, so up here is the fill plug if you can sort of see it behind this aluminum cross member for the high point gear chamber and this is the corresponding drain plug for the high point gear assembly and this compartment here takes approximately 0.7 liters of DPSF fluid and conversely this is the fill plug for the clutch assembly chamber located on the driver side of the differential and the corresponding drain plug is located at the front of the transfer case assembly or the transfer case clutch assembly um, and this chamber here holds approximately 2.7 to 2.8 liters of Honda slash Acura DPSF fluid. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to crack this drain open here to empty out the high point gear chamber and crack this drain open uh, to drain the, uh, the clutch assembly uh, chambers. But before doing so, uh, we would advise opening up the fill plugs for both chambers uh, so that in the event that we can't open up the fill plugs then there's no sense in trying to drain uh, the chambers otherwise you'll have no fluid and you'll have to tow your vehicle to the dealership uh, should you run into that situation. So let's go ahead and crack these drain plugs open. So there's no special sockets required to remove the drain plugs or the fill plugs on this rear clutch differential gear assembly. All you need is a uh, square drive end of a 3 8 inch ratchet and then just insert it over the top of the bolt and then break these loose. Now this rear differential at some stage in time has been previously serviced so these fill, fill and drain bolts were not very tight. Um, and I know this because I did it in the past. Uh, however, if they've never been serviced before, then you may run into a situation where you're going to use, you're going to need to either use a breaker bar or a hollow pipe um, to break the bolts loose just because of how tight they are from the factory. So what we're draining here is the rear high point gear assembly, which is essentially the differential itself. Uh, and I had mentioned earlier in my video that there's about 0.7 to 0.8 liters of fluid uh, in this side. Uh, take note when you're removing the drain plug and fill plugs that there is a uh, large aluminum washer uh, that sits between the fill plug as well, uh, be sorry, between the fill plug and the actual assembly. Don't lose that. Uh, you can either choose to reuse them if they're not crushed badly or you can just simply go to the dealership and spend the two dollars and buy replacement ones. So now that we've drained the high port gear assembly, we want to now drain the clutch chamber. And as mentioned earlier in my video, that the drain plug is located right here um, at the front of the casing assembly. Now you might want to reorient your pan properly uh, as there is a considerable amount of fluid located in this chamber, up to 2.8 liters. It's always advisable to take the vehicle for a quick drive uh, anywhere in the realm of 10 to, uh, to 15 kilometers or about uh, 6 or 7 miles, whatever that might be in miles equivalent, uh, just to warm up the fluid so that it drains uh, properly. 
If you want to get a slightly more thorough drain, you can always lower the vehicle uh, so that this transfer case assembly sits level to get every bit of fluid out. Um, I typically just let it sit uh, like this for about five to 10 minutes. And then once no oil comes out, we can replace the drain plugs and proceed to fill the uh, clutch and high port gear cases accordingly. Cut. So folks, while we're waiting for the rear differential transfer case assembly to completely drain, let's talk a little bit about the fluids that Honda and Acura have to offer up. Uh, back in the 2005 through 2008 era, uh, Acura RL sedans, as well as a host of other vehicles such as the MDX and RDX, as well as the Honda CRV and Honda Pilot, all used a, uh, a very confusing mix of different fluids for their uh, rear differential and transfer case assemblies. And I want to bring some truth and some clarity to what is actually supposed to be used. Um, back in the day, uh, the rear differentials in a lot of the Hondas were either using Honda VTM4 fluid uh, or the uh, dual pump fluid uh, version 2 or version 1 back in those days, as well as an unlisted bottle that I don't have here called Honda ATF Z1 uh, ATF fluid. And I just want to point out that uh, Honda and Acura you know, have made it very clear that the ATF Z1 uh, has been completely phased out and therefore you can't necessarily be substituting or reinstalling Z1 into the rear transfer case as specified by this 2006 Acura RL. Um, ultimately what Acura has done was discontinued the Z1 fluid and replaced the transaxle fluid with an ATF DW1 full synthetic uh, ultra low viscosity oil for better uh, cold temperature shift performance. Um, but this is actually in fact 100% not suitable for rear differentials uh, on any Hondas. Um, it simply doesn't have the high pressure gear oil rating um, and the required viscosity to prevent damage to the either mechanical or electronic clutch assemblies uh, and also it won't give you hardly any protection for the high port gear assembly on the diff. Um, what you actually have to use is in fact the Acura all-wheel drive fluid or commonly known as DPSF. So this fluid's about $11 a liter uh, from a Honda Canada dealership and uh, for this particular RL we're going to need four liters of it. Almost a liter for the high port gear chamber and three liters to actually fill the clutch assembly chamber. Um, there's a lot of speculation on the internet that Honda Dual Pump Fluid 2, which is used in the CRV, is the same as the Acura DPSF. Uh, the part numbers are very similar, uh, 08200-9007A for this fluid, and this is the same number without the A. I want to be very clear, and this is from Honda themselves, that these two fluids, despite sharing a very similar part number, are not remotely interchangeable. This is for a CRV differential. And the DPSF fluid is for all the Acura all-wheel drive assemblies. So don't mix them up and certainly do not remotely try to attempt to use the ATF DW1 uh, in the diff. Um, so whenever you're doing this type of service, you want to use four liters of the soil. Um, and I had mentioned earlier that there are four uh, bolts, two fill and two drain on the uh, diff assembly. Uh, in my hands here, I have two brand new aluminum crush washers from Honda. I'm only using the two for the drain plug because those are the ones that are most likely to leak if they were going to. And the part number for these ones are 94109-20000 and they cost about a buck fifty a piece at your local Honda Canada dealership. So useful service tip here guys, uh, you know, in relation to talking about DPSF fluid, um, that I had mentioned earlier that the earlier generations of the super handling all wheel drive transfer case rear diff assemblies uh, did ship from Acura at one point in time with ATF Z1 fluid and you cannot substitute the ATF DW1 fluid. Um, and those are wondering, well DPSF wasn't specified in my factory service manual or owner's manual, uh, but I want to make clear that directly from Honda Canada service division themselves, that this fluid is compatible for all models prior to 2010 and anything 2010 and later. Anything to do with all wheel drive uses DPSF fluid. And if in doubt, uh, ask not one dealership, but ask several dealerships to confirm. But I can tell you with certainty that any current generation super handling all-wheel drive system will require the Acura DPSF fluid. So now that the vehicle has been lowered uh, to give it a better drain uh, for the last 10 minutes, I'm going to raise the vehicle back up and reinstall the drain plug bolts. So now that the 
assembly has completely drained and there's not a single drop coming out, you want to get a clean paper towel or a rag and just wipe those drain holes so that they're nice and clean and tidy. And of course, clean the drain plugs uh, and replace them with uh, new washers prior to installation. So this is what the plug cleaned and what the new washer looks like. So we're just going to simply screw these back in to the drain plugs as such. And then using our trusty 3 it's ratchet, we're just going to snug these down. They don't need to be tight. We want to make it very clear here that this casing assembly is made from aluminum and aluminum is an extremely soft metal. So all it needs is just essentially screwed down by hand and then just a slight tightening and that will be sufficient. You can always tighten the bolts further if need be, but uh, in all my years of fixing Hondas, I've never had to torque these down very tight at all. Okay, good. So there are a multitude of different ways that we can fill this rear transfer case differential assembly. Um, and we've seen, and I personally use, you know, the hand pump method uh, on numerous occasions. But to be quite honest, I think that's the stupid way of filling it because you have to put in over, well, four liters of this fluid um, and you're going to be sitting here pumping all day long. So what I'm using here is a sort of a funnel assembly hooked up to a long tube that we're going to essentially fish through the rear driver's side wheel well and then uh, start off by filling the uh, high port gear assembly uh, which we'll demonstrate here in short order. Um, the reason why I like filling it this way is because you can move a lot of fluid into the transfer case very quickly uh, with relatively minimal mess uh, and it sure as heck be laying on the ground pumping uh, you know, 10 milliliters of fluid each time. So let's get started. So if you can sort of see from this view here, I've routed this hose through the suspension spring above the sway bar. And I'm going to make this really tight 90 degree turn into the high part gear chamber, which is that top fill hole I had mentioned earlier. I'm just going to insert this hose right into there and essentially route it along the cross member and making sure that there are no sharp bends and kinks other than the one going to the hole and then placing the drain pan directly below it. And how we're going to fill this is we're going to pour fluid in until we're going to pour the fluid into this funnel hose contraption assembly and it's going to flow into that high port gear chamber and when we get to about three quarters of a liter or so uh, it should be full. We might be able to put in a bit more because of the way the car is angled right now that it's because it's raised up. But in a nutshell it's going to start to overflow to the fill hole and that's when you know that that chamber is full of fluid so let's start filling. So to prior to pouring this oil into this funnel always 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 do a double visual check to make sure you have the right fluid in your hands prior to pouring. I've seen all too often some mechanics that make the same that make the fatal mistake of putting the wrong type of fluid into their vehicle because they didn't pay attention to the bottle So it's worth also mentioning guys that the DPSF fluid is not like traditional ATF that you're going to drain out of your uh, transfer case if it's never been changed. Um, ATF fluid is a nice dark cherry color and it, depending if it's, um, well anyway it's a dark cherry color. And if you look at this DPSF fluid it even in fact looks very similar to the Honda dual pump fluid too. Um, but take note of the color, it's actually more in fact a more caramelly uh, color than dual pump fluid. Two, which is more of a pinky color. Um, although color is no indicator of the type of fluid, just be aware that uh, what you drain out may not necessarily be the same that what you're putting in. So this is a telltale sign that this casing assembly is now filled. Uh, you can clearly see that there is DPSF fluid running down the backside of the rear differential assembly, meaning that no more fluid can possibly go in. Now you don't necessarily have to fill this thing right to the max. Uh, be aware that the guideline for the high port gear chamber, for example, was 0.7 to 0.8 liters. And I actually managed to fit almost an entire liter into this before it started dripping. Um, I don't really think that you can overfill um, using this method. And also be aware that if you're slightly underfilled, it's not going to kill it. Um, 
you know, being short of 50 to 100 mils is not going to make the slightest iota of difference in terms of its performance. So the high port gear assembly is filled. So now let's fill the clutch assembly, which takes approximately 2.7 to 2.8 liters of oil and is filled via the side fill hole on the back of the rear differential. So we've already installed approximately 3 liters into the clutch assembly case and as you can tell there's actually no oil leaking over the fill hole, meaning that we haven't quite hit the complete full mark. But please be aware that the vehicle being jacked up on the rear driver's side has actually tipped this case over uh, more so at an incline so you can in fact probably cram a bit more oil than, um, than specified. Um, don't get too hung up on this as long as you've installed uh, 2.7 to 3 liters into the clutch assembly case here um, you'll be fine. So, to recap we've used 4 liters of Acura DPSF fluid 0.7 to 0.8 to almost a liter in my particular, particular case on the high point gear assembly and about 3 liters into the clutch assembly here located to the left um, right there. Uh, we replaced the two drain bolt washers with new ones. We torqued them down hand tight and of course when you're done filling the transaxle or the rear diff assembly, sorry, that you also tighten the fill plugs accordingly. I hope you found this video useful, informative. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.